In the great hall of the Justice League, there are assembled the world's four greatest heroes, created from the cosmic legends of the universe. Superman. Wonder Woman. Batman. Aquaman. Hey, welcome to PottyCast. Today, we're discussing the movie Justice League. First part will be non-spoiler, but we'll throw up a big spoiler thing when we get into the spoilers. So, I'm Mike. Jeremy. Jeremy. Josh. We literally just got back from the theater to see this, and we could not talk about it until now. Everybody's head's about ready to explode, so let's get into it. Jeremy, you're the DC guy. Let's go to you first. What'd you think? Overall, I loved it. Uh, there were some issues, obviously, but there were some awesome parts, so I can get into that later, but move on down the line, get everybody... Mr. Jeremy Allen? Um, I've got to preface it with, I hated Suicide Squad. Okay. Hated Batman vs. Superman. Okay. I could see your head spinning. <laughs> <laughs> the Exorcist. I actually, I actually really like Justice League, despite some of the uh, the issues, but yeah, I enjoyed it. Josh? Uh, yeah, um, I liked it a lot, but it just had issues with me for like editing things and but overall it was more comic than than most so i like that part of it so. you haven't seen thor yet then <laughs> <laughs> you want to talk comic <laughs> for justice league um i i liked it overall um i thought as far as like uh, movies with batman and superman but i liked it better than man of, man of steel i liked it better than um, Batman vs. Superman, I liked it better than Justice or uh, Suicide Squad. But, I didn't like it as much as Wonder Woman. Yeah, I still think yeah, Wonder Woman was really good. Wonder Woman and Man of Steel are my two favorite DC ones. <clears throat> so, being a non-comic guy, Josh. Yeah. And when you go into something like Justice League, I mean, what were you... I look at editing, I look at filming, I look at shots, I look at all that stuff. Because I'm a film guy, I'm not really a comic guy, but... I gotta um, say, we saw this in 3D, and there were some pretty cool shots, yeah, especially was, Batman. Yeah. There was, there really but was. But related really to his, my biggest complaint is you could really feel the two directors, I felt. Yes, I that's could really what, feel. I mean, that's what one thing I was going to talk about. Zack Snyder the, was taken off of it because of his daughter, whatever the situation, mm -hmm. and you can, uh, what's his name? Zack Snyder did the first part Damien, of Joss or Whedon. Damon, what's his name? The guy that came in and. Filled him in. Uh, Josh Whedon. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Never mind. I was reading the wrong thing. But, uh, <laughs> but you, you could really sense some Whedon jokes a lot in there and stuff. And shot-wise, too, I thought. Yeah. Kind well, of that odd, there was an Aquaman yeah. shot with the two eyes. I was like, that is Whedon all uh, yeah. day, man. <laughs> so, so, okay, story. What'd you guys... That's where the two directors thing came in. And I that, uh, to me, is the weakest part of the film is yes, the story. I agree. But there's... And I've always thought this was Snyder. I always think his stuff looks great, but he's always had, like, even Sucker Punch. I love Sucker Punch, but the story was yeah. a bit weak. So I always would like to have him work with a great writer, but direct it. And I mm -hmm. love his look and the stuff. There's also a thing I saw online before we left is they're starting a petition for the Blu-ray when it gets released that Snyder fans want his cut, the director's Ooh. cut. And there's, there's a lot of stuff. Okay, I'm going to try to avoid spoilers. <laughs> for those of you that have seen a trailer there's a lot of stuff in the trailer that's not in the movie yeah that really yeah. surprised me and, and they edited the trailer one one mm -hmm. certain trailer one way and then when it showed yeah. it in the movie it's like oh this, this is not spoiling but i like i mean some of the humor was okay but some of it was actually yeah, some of clever it really forced yeah it really forced really yeah. forced but some of it was clever that kind of got me you can hear me laughing but at the movie but uh <laughs> Um, I heard you laughing. <laughs> I, I like I, I like what the what they did with the Flash, just because yeah. Um, yeah. it was just cool how they. How I they was did everything. really nervous about yeah, Ezra right? Miller and but, I actually he tended up. I like his star. action scenes, but not a lot of his dialogue. Yeah, yeah correct. Well, the, the dialogue that I felt was forced, like the it's in the trailer, so this isn't a spoiler. But right. when he points to the bat signal, yeah, I was right. like, oh, that part I, I and Wonder not. Woman always kills it. She's gonna kill it yeah. as long as she's Wonder Woman. She oh, really, oh, I nice. do, and I'll. She had just just had another baby. She's got two dose. She got dose babies. She just had a baby. 
Yeah. Like she was pregnant during one of them. And I'll tell you, that is one thing that I love DC is doing is the Amazonians in general. Yeah. That oh, Amazonian scene, I yeah. love that. That the, the Amazons are just amazing that DC has really, really hit that. For me, Wonder Woman actually just stands out yeah. even more than everybody. Like, I mean, as far as like performance wise, mm-hmm. I mean, she just stands out. Her facial expressions, I mean, everything <laughs> is just, it's like, man, she's like, Cut above everybody else in this movie. Yeah, yeah, she really, <laughs> she really. Uh, I will say this has been my favorite uh, version of the bat suit so far. Right at mm-hmm. the beginning, it did look a little comic. puffy at times. Yeah, right. Puffy, but it, it looked like the comics. I mean, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. And yeah. a lot of the yeah. shots, and that's what Snyder does really well. You, he I guess knows just, he takes Ben Affleck shots, <laughs> from, like, oh, God, frames so. from comics <laughs> yeah. and copies and stuff. The one thing he does that I noticed a lot in this, he does a lot of low shooting. Mm-hmm. Up, right, right, and it, it, sometimes that's cool, but it, it felt like there was more. I think it's more, you know, the well, yeah, once the grand. Well, that's what. Well, um, but the it's Zach during the dialogue Snyder, scenes. Zach when Snyder I noticed it, it, I was like, it, you don't need that. When uh, when they're in, when they first come into it, as Zack Snyder, I could do when when uh, they were going on the street of London right before the uh, whole put the bomb in the. That that is in the trailer. There's a lot of stuff <laughs> in the trailer. There's, there's a, a, film, there's a shot that goes closer to the building from the street. You know what I mean? It was just like a really. Especially, in, we watched it in 3D, so it was really a depth shot. And there and is part it. of yeah. that scene, and I'll wait for the spoiler part, that right. was just amazing. I've yeah, seen like it twice whole, now. The whole and scene, that, the whole even scene before that develops. came up, I was like, here it comes, here it comes, all right. <laughs> that's what Snipes is <laughs> <Snipes, laughs> <Snipes, laughs> <Snipes, laughs> good at. He's got popcorn. <laughs> Let's talk characters. So we went over Wonder Woman, we went over Batman. Let's talk about Cyborg and Aquaman. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm going to try to too? do this without the spoiler thing. Right. So. In the trailer, they do go to Atlantis. I'm impressed with that, but there's you can still feel they're working on it, right. kind of thing. But it was still That's uh, the the hard. Batman versus Superman. The big complaint they had was when he showed up and it looked like he was holding his breath. Mm-hmm. They fixed that, yeah. but it's still. I mean, underwater is difficult. Yeah, and they're, but it's getting close. And uh, I I love. I'm a big Martian Manhunter fan, and I don't want to say anything yet. But Cyborg in the comics. Kind of pushed out Martian Manhunter. Yeah, but I love how they, the actor and the character and the story and everything was really good. Yeah, I liked how they kept Cyborg real low key. Yeah, and mm-hmm. yeah, was... they, yeah, him, and I, and I even uh, Aquaman was very impressive. Yeah. And uh, man, I'm trying to cut there was, spoilers there, here. Yeah, can I say? there was a shot of you know the team shot, which is also mm-hmm. in the trailer. But man, every time I see it, I think. Martian Manhunter just seems like he yeah. should be in that show. Well, this has been the chatter online. One of the producers, uh, I don't know which one, but they were talking about the big guns. Uh, the other one we won't talk about yet, but the Martian Manhunter, uh, he mentioned it, just saying yeah. we're wanting to make a movie, and I just was like, yay, dude. I, I really, really want to see Martian Manhunter on the big screen. I just think that would be, and especially after I saw Vision, like telling you that yeah. one, it's a very similar uh, metaphysical look that they could well, overall, I dug the movie. Uh, yeah, I haven't read any reviews or nothing, so I don't know what everybody else is saying. But for me, place, I dug so the movie. Yeah. I thought, um, as far as, I mean, compared to like a standard movie, it's great. Compared, uh, in the comic book movie world, which is my fucking, mm-hmm. you know, that's my shit. Uh, I, I put it media, you know, meteorology. Mm-hmm. But in the DC, <coughs> uh, if you compare it against other DC movies, I'd put it probably second or third. Wonder Woman being the top one for me. And I feel like DC Studios, because I think they did this with Suicide Squad, uh, not so much with Batman vs. Superman. Wonder Woman, I think they just let Patty Jenkins go, which was brilliant. Mm-hmm. But it feels like, because this uh, film, one of the producers said it had to be under two hours, and it's one minute, or one hour and 59 <laughs> minutes, right? So, But you could see it in what you were talking about with the cuts, the editing. There yeah. are certain things that you could just tell it was just cut for forced. time. It was forced. Yeah, like, yeah. And just, just like but the, I'll say this is one thing I do like about this compared to even I love Batman vs Superman, but <clears> that <throat> first half of that movie and this one is similar to it. Kind of was a little slow, but this one went a lot quicker. It Batman went, versus Superman, the first half was it, really slow, and, and this one jumped. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, and so I think that's where the they scene. cut uh, uh, the editing, right? And that's what yeah. uh, what I'm wondering if they with the Blu-ray, if there's a Zack Snyder cut. Mm-hmm. Uh, that they, it would be a little smoother. But one thing, like you were saying, with comic movies, I forgive that a lot of times. Right. Because in, in comics, you really get a 
you know, here's a story, and then all of a sudden, backstory. And, and the comics, comic movies is a big puzzle, and you have to try to stay straight, stay true to the comics, mm-hmm. please an average crowd, please the comic crowd, please the film crowd, and then so I mean, there is a lot of pieces of the puzzle, and they're planning for you know extended yeah. universes, and so I, I give props to a lot of the comic, like DCU and and in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. The whole big fucking puzzle they're building, yeah. dude. I love it. Well, you know, with you talking about the fans and stuff, I noticed that. So there are certain parts that the crowd loved it and right, stuff right. and everything. But I was like, uh, you know, I, I love them dark. I like, but I know it's not for the masses. So uh, one thing I kind of get is DC kind of finding that balance, and they're still working on that, and it's kind of depressing. That <laughs> like, yeah, I guess you got to make these family friendly, fine, but it. All in all, I, I liked it. I liked it a lot, actually. All right, we come back. We're going to talk maybe a little bit more non-spoiler, but then we're going to get into spoiler. I mean, we can't hold it back much longer. I was going right? to say, I don't know, man. I almost like it. We're going spoiler. Yeah, I yeah. want to talk about some shots that I had yeah. issues with. Yeah, let's go straight to spoilers. All right, straight to spoilers when we come spoilers. back. Join us, motherfucker. Welcome back to Podcast. Now, if you have not seen the movie, get the fuck out of here, because we are going spoilers! Spoilers! Get out of here and go watch it. Go fuck yourself. I'm going to run some big spoilers. Jesus. <laughs> right? All right, so let's get into spoilers and all that good stuff. So, one shot I loved a lot was right at the beginning. It was when fucking Batman was perched on that fucking yes. side of the building. I was like... Oh, that yeah. looks fucking awesome. That looked like it was straight out of the comic. Yeah. And that's that badass bat suit that they got. Yeah. yeah. It was awesome. Yeah, it looked fucking great, dude. And then uh, what are some of the stuff you like that you want to get into? Superman. I With mm-hmm. a, a little hint towards the Green Lanterns. You get a hint towards Green I love that. That was cool. Now, was that... Uh, obviously, I always wanted to help George Green Lantern. I thought when that... That wasn't... I didn't think it was... No, no, it wasn't. I thought it was almost like that Beta Rebuild. The, 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 the uh, one, now, the one thing I'm wondering is if that's their Abin Sur, and the true. one that died, and but it was like 5,000 years ago. Right. So that's... Uh, and there's another very big story issue that I don't know if I've... The cyborg thing, where he talked mm-hmm. about getting fused with the mother box. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, before Superman died... And I was like, wait a minute. He had the footage from Lex Luthor from before, right before Superman died of him getting fused with the mother box. So that, yes. I don't know if I missed, right? So anyways, yes. keep an eye out for that. It, well, whatever. But anyways, <laughs> Superman. Fucking Superman. I thought, I love the way they did Superman in this. And that scene, because there's all, and they did a really good flash in Superman. That was really cool. Mm-hmm. They did lighten him up, yeah, which I was nervous about. Yes, like, that was yeah. oh, During no, the flash, that was, when the flash was yeah. That was yeah. so great, man. I, that part was so cool, and it was so hinting towards, you know, the fact that he's, and the Wonder Woman scene I wanted to say earlier, mm-hmm. the automatic gun, yes. her being that fast, <laughs> oh my God, dude. That I'm blocking was all those bullets. So and no one else is going to talk about anything because this motherfucker mentioned yeah, all the good uh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 right, I'm done, I'm done. I just wanted to scream <laughs> Superman. Like, Superman was awesome in something. this movie. What was something you didn't like a lot? That whole part where like, he bailed on us. That, you can tell that was a fucking overdub. But mm-hmm. I can cut because they had nothing onto that. They pissed me the fuck off. Like, what? You just left me hanging. <laughs> Thanks, Zack Snyder. You know what so I mean? Yeah, it was, yeah you jumped out. Like, you, there was supposed to be more to, more to that. I guarantee there was. Yeah. It felt like it needed to be more. It felt like it should have been. That yeah, might have right? been. Yeah, we and don't like, know. That might have been uh, one of the reshoots, kind of. Right. I was like, ugh. Like, <laughs> that that uh, might have been where Joss Whedon took over. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I, that's what I felt. Like, that movie just totally changed in a different direction. In yeah. some ways. In some ways. I shouldn't say all. But and in some ways, it did. And I was like, uh, I really think that claim to get a Snyder director's cut on this because I, I agree I'm yeah. curious as what they what the studio did and what did you all feel Josh that did. the same like everybody yeah. feels the same I, I, I was like oof I, I actually that was one that I kind of smoke a cigarette <laughs> did he just bail you did right at the end <laughs> oh yeah right. you're like well, let's go smoke no we went right. to the bathroom first then then the cigarette <laughs> <laughs> right, hey so, can we hold hands at the urinal <laughs> Jeremy Allen what, what was your favorite part of the movie uh, I like what they did with, like uh, Jeremy said, with uh, Superman. 
Yeah. I, I love Man of Steel, but this one, it seemed like they almost, was it the Richard Donner 70s? Super yeah, Marvel and they even movie? had a hit of that. Yeah, it, yep. it, it, he almost got back to that almost wholesome golly yeah. gee willikers yeah. type yeah. shit. And, and, and I, the, I dug uh, that. the second part of his. Yeah, yeah. Story. which yeah. I think was cool that they had both sides. I, I think that was cool to introduce because that was so cool. I was hoping Bizarro was kind of coming for at least <laughs> five seconds, you know? Right. <laughs> There's going to be Bizarro Superman. And I was <laughs> a little Easter egg, but uh, the Dark Knight Returns, you know when Superman was the real thin uh, guy that they found and they kept him underground. Mm -hmm. When he got revived and shot straight up and did that little thing like this, it just, I wonder if that was an Easter egg hint towards. The uh, one thing that bothered the shit out of me about that whole him rising. All of his clothes blow off except his pants. <laughs> <laughs> you know when he landed, the first thing I, first thing I, 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 I wanted to lean over to you and go, Thor. Because you got to have like the shirt off scene and everything. Right. I was like, well, yeah. he had like no socks. Yep. He had a suit on, tie, t-shirt, right. shirt, jacket, shoes, everything went except his pants. Maybe, they were, like, maybe they were, you know, elastic, stretchy. What's your... <laughs> I have no idea. I brought these from the Hulk. They always stay on. <laughs> what do you guys think of the villain, Steppenwolf? See, that's what he I'm looked like into. shit. Yes, the, the CGI, CGI was, was horrible. horrible. Very CGI. It, it almost like a video game. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. Uh, right. Yeah. Like a lot of, like a video game cut scenario. It was like, it was like Skyrim. Tutorial bullshit. Right. It was like they <laughs> yeah, pulled the dude out of Skyrim. Skyrim. <laughs> this is a major spoiler, and this is my biggest heartbreak from the whole movie. Is I did not get to see Dark Side, and I'm so pissed about they didn't that. Didn't mention him. Did yeah, mention him? but it was. I wanted to see Apocalypse, and I, that it that mm. sucked. And I wonder, that's another thing I wonder if they took that out. And I don't know if they put that, huge spoilers here, but the, <laughs> just the, the death stroke at the end and everything. Mm -hmm. I don't know if the studio wants to go that way because I know Snyder really had to have wanted to go to Dark Side next. Yeah. And I'm wondering if that's a studio choice that they threw. I was hoping Dark Side would make an appearance too after they mentioned him. I was mm -hmm. like, All right, is Dark Side I just, be in this? Even if it was just him looking at the other end of the boom right. tube on Apocalypse and or Granny Good, I want to see how they do Granny Goodness. I'm so interested. Or even to like see Thanos that. In the, when they first yep. showed him and he's, you know, far away yep. and he's up to no good and talking to Loki. And um, But the one thing that bugged me about Steppenwolf was. <laughs> He fought off all these Amazonians. Yeah, off, and, all that, these yeah. and then these five take him down like nothing. I mean, no, yeah. I don't want to say well, like nothing. Well, Superman, but. motherfucker, exactly. What yeah, when he to. came but back, that was that was Superman's so cool. motherfucking right. shit, dude. But That's Jesus but Christ, to go away it was because oh, I broke my axe. Now I'm afraid. Not and these fucking yeah. meaningless bugs are taking fucking SWAT like nothing. Just fly away with them. It's like, come on, really. Yeah, I, I, I can see all that, but up. the one thing I would say I think I they did well with Steppenwolf is he wasn't a major <laughs> ish. Like, he was kind of something to work off of. It was really right, the right. team, the league, or whatever that the film was about mm -hmm. and everything. And uh, I do like how they did the Parademons. I love, that's one thing I loved in the Batman versus cool, Superman. But I don't think they're cool enough to fucking take down Steppenwolf and that mm -hmm. after he, you know, beat the Amazonians. Well, that's the problem. You're stinking. Uh, Atlanteans. <laughs> But, and the other thing is, one thing DC, uh, again, hey, let's change Earth's landscape. That's the mission, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like Man of Steel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that world engine is... Kegel. Yeah. Issue, Kegel. So. Kegel. <laughs> Kegel. But I, Kegel. I will say that is a huge uh, thing with Darkseid. That's Lobo. What he, that, so Lobo. I would see taking that out of Man of Steel, but this one... And they didn't do, like, they uh, they make it a hellscape in the comics, right? right? They're, like, lava towers, and they kind of did that, but there's a lot of purple and stuff in it. Uh, <laughs> it looks prettier on Yeah, the and I think it's more towards the family thing, where, yeah. uh, you know, dark size, and that's one thing I love that they did with Lex Luthor, is the, the Jesus relation to Superman, and dark side is Satan, or the devil. Right. And that's and with a piece from Apocalypse, you know, all these, <coughs> and that's why I wanted to see how they did that. But Speaking of which, who... In that um, ancient fight scene, was that Hercules? That was that was Zeus, and those were the gods. And that's it what was the actual. And that's what's cool with Jack gods. Kirby with the new gods and his. And that's another great thing they did with the Amazonians and Wonder Woman and everything. Is you know, oh yeah, the blood of the old gods kind of thing. So it's cool to use Jack Kirby's fourth world, uh, yeah, fourth world universe, and to tie it in. Uh -huh. Uh, that way and stuff. So I, think that, I just wondering. So that was Zeus. Yeah. It looked like Hercules. <laughs> you know I, mean? I, I, I assume. I mean, I 
That, well, that, he did that the would, light. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you notice that one scene how they're taller. Yeah. Like because of they're, like Titan Juniors or whatever. Right. They were, but yeah, I thought that was fantastic. The bringing the gods <clears> in like that. Yeah, yeah that so. was cool as hell. So Jeremy Allen. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> you turned your face. Well, <laughs> well, what is the your biggest issue with the film? Like, um, yeah, because I asked you your favorite part. What was your worst part? Oof, I don't know. <laughs> was there was there? Any... I think the CGI really took uh, took me out of it a lot. Like mm-hmm. Steppenwolf when he first appeared, it was. Eh. Yeah, it, it looked like it, it wasn't. He wasn't scene. scary. Yeah, because it, it looked too fake. Mm-hmm. How, how's that relate to you, Josh? Not being a comic book guy. And these comic I see it as a, use a lot of CGI. Well, I'm cool with CGI. It's just you got to do it right, or you got to make it look good. You yeah, know what I mean, and to me, is like I was in love with the first half of the movie, but then it's like the second half of the movie is just something about it. It was just not not what, what I was fed in the beginning. So therefore, it's the latter is the problem. Yeah. And in some ways, it's it's great in the latter too as well. I'm not going to give uh, you know total shit to it, but there are some parts in there. It's just like. Ugh. You could have done so much fucking better, you know what I mean? And it's just like if you have that much, <laughs> that much talent on set, that much money on set, and you have all this shit, why, why couldn't it come out a little bit? You know what I mean? What we expect it to be. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's right. my uh, dilemma, and that's where I put it. All right. Well, when we come back, we're gonna talk about Batman himself, and we're gonna talk about the cutscenes afterwards. Join us. <laughs> Hey, right, welcome back to PottyCast. Now, let's get into Batman himself. What did you guys think of Batman in this movie? I am... I'm stressed out about the fact that finally I get used to Affleck and then he's going to possibly jettison the universe. That is really <laughs> freaking me out. We were but, talking Jake Gyllenhaal as uh, the next Batman. Uh, that would be a shittier choice than it just, Affleck. He just doesn't... He just doesn't have the Batman face, look, structure. I mean, nothing. He has big eyes. I look happy all the time. <laughs> Who do you guys think would be a good Batman? Um, Mike, I'll go to you first. I'll go to me first. Oh, God. Let me think. Jim Carrey. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> ah, good Batman. Anthony Hopkins. <laughs> I had to come back on me on that. I had to think that's, about that. That's a good thinker. Me. That's a good thinker. It is. Gordon, who would be a good Batman? I would actually myself kind of go a Cavill route, and by that I mean not a major dude. All right. I, like Cavill did uh, Immortals, which I really think is where Snyder saw. I don't know if he did anything for that movie, but I, he had to see that and uh, was like, that's going to be Superman. But nobody really knew him before that. So I I would just go with like Gal Gadot or Gal Gadot, man. She really Dude. wasn't that major before. I and Miller it's and Ray Fisher, yeah. I, I just really think go with right. somebody yeah. that's not. Is it Gadot or Gadot? Yeah, Gadot. I, I've heard it every other way. Right. Now, yeah. when they did the little tour thing, I heard them say uh, uh, Gal Gadot call. once, yeah. and I think yeah. Cavill yeah. said that to her. But the I've old heard, one or the young one? <laughs> I'm always curious about that. I never know. Well, you get, uh, I gotta tell you, British dude. Oh, there oh, uh, Michael Fassbender. 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 That's my next Batman. Mac- Michael Fassbender. Yeah. Fassbender. The only problem would be Magneto. That'd be a tough. I know, but yeah. the whole thing is that that's a good actor for. Yeah, I, I almost could. For Batman, I could see Fassbender doing that. I, I can see it. I can see it. It's you can work around the fucking you know Magneto. Hugh Jackman. <laughs> Hugh Jackman. No, this Christmas do not watch Hugh Jackman. <laughs> well, anyway, back to Batman. I think Batman overall actually was not my favorite in the movie. I thought he was kind of downplayed, underused, yeah. to be honest. Well, they were trying to, and you well, can't he's just rich. <laughs> right. He has no superpowers. Yeah, That's but, why I love that they brought it out. He was like, he was like, what's your, Flash was like, what's your superpower? He was like, I'm just rich. Or he's like, I'm rich. And to me, that was like, wow, they're downplaying him because he is a, just a human. Right, but he's also a, a big thinker. I mean, okay, he but he has no superpowers. But, he, but he's one of those guys that plans 10 million <laughs> steps ahead of everybody else. And they made the point and said, this is not going to plan. And he said, well, you know, it's a team effort thing. It's not just his plan anymore. Okay. You know I mean, if you're going okay. to the Justice League idea, then freaking his plan goes out the fucking window. He can start it, but he can't finish it because it's not his fucking, you know, team. It's just... It's, yeah, well, man. and he always... That's one thing with the Justice League being created is... And they make kind of a point with it, but... It's how he always 
I mean, I guess Robin or whatever, but yeah. really it was just him for the most part, you know, and now he's got to deal with other people you know, making the team kind of but like a sitcom. But, yeah. A good example is when they brought Superman back and Superman started attacking everybody. I mean, you would think Batman would have a kryptonite on hand just he as did. a backup. Lois Lane. Yeah, yeah but, there we go. No, but boom, I mean, boom, yeah, but boom, I, boom. I can, that one I I thought about that too, and I I like how they he didn't right because yeah, right? I think he had such guilt that they played off of the last time that he didn't want to. Do that in the lowest side. Now, now, and we don't know that maybe he didn't as right. a very last resort, but I, I... And how can you predict an alien and come back to life? <laughs> I mean, right, right, but I mean, just because Batman's such a big thinker and has all these, you know, plans that he has... Well, he's human. He's, he's human. FG. He's human. FYI. He's but human. I... Yeah, I don't think he should have used <laughs> he's it. Not Jesus. Even if he had it, we I don't know if he would have had it <laughs> <laughs> in the <laughs> trunk or something, you know. Maybe but, if Lois Lane didn't snap him out of it, maybe yeah, he pulls it yeah. out. Maybe he did have some. So that, that, that the one I would... Uh, uh, I give him a little... I give him a big pass on that one. Just oh, I'll, I'll give him a pass after seeing that. Like, after you said that, but back to Gal. Well, good. I've changed Dardot. Mind. Gadot. Gadot. and a heart. Gal Gadot Dardot. Abominable. Abominable. I don't know how to say her dude. But dude, she's a badass, <laughs> and I'm not gonna lie, she's on my uh, top five free pass list. <laughs> yeah, she, that, that first scene, especially when she broke through those doors, and the way they did that scene was really. I'm in love with Very that chick now. Cool, dude. <laughs> I know Josh is. Oh, I mean, she's she was in the Israeli army, dude. So she knows Krav Maga and a lot of shit, and she's a badass, and she has two kids, and she's just, you know, what I mean, she's all and around. They balance good her birth. really well. Yeah. All I around think, good thing. In this one, where mm-hmm. she's a badass feel. when she wants to be, but they made her tender at times. Well, no, she have you, does did you catch those undertones of sex tones of her? Yes. Like, oh. <laughs> and, uh, you know I, mean? I swear to God, it was. Dude. I, feel I was like, like watching a tennis match. I was like, yeah, exactly. I was like, God damn, turn the sound up and just fucking, you know what I mean? Get the Vaselino. That sounded like creep, but there was a pretty yeah, hot shot of creepy. her backside there when the. But no, the, the, it's I'm obvious. Of those pants. <laughs> That's a pretty hot shot. I'm talking, uh, about movie, I'm talking about movies. I guess I'm creeping everybody out, but all right, let's move on to that. <laughs> uh, so no, you two do for you're walking in front of me on the way. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, behind, buddy. Matter of fact, uh, you got any? Uh, what the fuck colors are those, those pants? <laughs> Magenta. All right, Magenta. Fuck, you're walking in front of me. We'll so does anybody know the future of Justice League and what's going to happen? I mean, like, are they going to no. add members? Or are no, they? No, that's a big. They're working on a flat. Oh my God! They're working on a Flashpoint movie, which I and with Jeff Johns doing uh, being a Kevin Feige. How do we, we're gonna yeah, figure right. out all these names? How to <laughs> say these names? <laughs> but they <laughs> Kevin Cagle. Uh, <laughs> they uh, Cagle. That, there's a Kegel. lot of talk about Flashpoint, and if they do that, that would just be mind blowing because there's so many twists in that movie that are cool. But they're doing that Aquaman, Cyborg. Uh, they're talking about a Suicide Squad now with Black Adam as the uh, villain and uh, Shazam. They just cast Billy and Shazam. So they got a lot of stuff coming up. It's March Manhunter. Oh, dear God. So, I hope that happens. <laughs> there's no talk of a Justice League 2 or anything Not yet. yet. I, I think, well, they're also, Matt Reeves that did The Planet of the Apes is doing the next Batman. And I guess uh, Affleck signed up for that, but it's after that that they're... Uh, seeing what happens, but I don't know. I just hope he doesn't do it. Just but I remember our first episode, DV, uh, DC versus Marvel. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? DV, anyways. But DC versus Marvel. But uh, um, I remember picking this. So me and Board were on the same side. The DC is going to surpass Marvel here yeah. soon. And it's just only matter time. Only matter and time. all of that it's stuff. Only I mean, it's all time. opinion. But I do really, th- and this really, it really showed in this, but and it showed a lot matters. in Suicide Squad. <laughs> They are trying to figure out what what to do, and I'm not an executive, but I really wish the now like Shazam and the Flat man, that Flashpoint wouldn't be like Shazam. You can make your kid friendly film and stuff, but I really wish DC would embrace the darkness. I don't like them trying to go with Marvel with the the com you know the comedy and stuff. Follow I think it works great with Marvel, but Follow DC is not a light. And whimsical. Why would even like Marvel to cut back on? Marvel? Yeah, I, I mean, think they times, both need to kind of. There's and, times Marvel will be. I mean, it's like a serious moment, 
and then you know, you're pulling the heartstrings a little bit, and all of a sudden there's a stupid joke, and you're like, man, you just ruined the moment. <laughs> yeah, or, right. Or or an action scene, which we saw tonight, which we saw tonight many times. It yeah, was very and I think they're humor. both like one. They both are going this way, and they're trying. They're. And I feel bad for the actor that played Flash because he was the butt of the joke most right. of the time. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I, I, I wish, what I'm saying is that he, 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 d- he delivered he delivered the shitty line. And it was yeah. like, that was a guy he did living in a shitter line because he was a new young kid. But you kid. know, the Flash yeah. in the Justice League's always has been that. You know, even the animated series and... But yeah, timing's even everything, everything man. Like the new 52 and stuff. Everything. If those, you run out of writing, maybe you should He's make always a joke. kind of the comic. <laughs> maybe you should just really cut. <laughs> but I do kind of wish Flash was a little more battle-tested as they said that he wasn't. Uh... Because I would have liked seeing him kick a little more ass instead of, hey, why don't you run in there and just save a couple people and just zip, zap, zip. Hey, I got him. But I would have rather seen him, you know, out there kicking some ass. Uh, yeah, I could see both both with them. And the, you know, those, again, with with the spoilers, but that second cut scene at the end, that was really yeah. cool homage to the comics. I thought I that who was... who won. I'm going to be... Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> this is going to be the question. Who's yeah, going... Right. Like, if, uh, that'd be great if they're lying for brunch, like, the next one or something. <laughs> Dude, I love that, that line. He was like, yeah, uh, uh, Bruce Wayne said, uh, we gotta go meet for brunch. And he was like, well, that's, that's wrong. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's wrong. I love that. Yeah, that's a good line. Like, like, he looked down too. He's like, that's wrong. Yeah, the bat signal and a couple things of Flash it just felt pushed. But overall, I really, I, yeah, was, I was good, really nervous about Ezra Miller as like, the Flash. What, like, I, I, I'm trainers. impressed. Those because he doors were like, coming like, down. And he's like, what's your superpower? He's like, I'm just rich. I'm like, perfect. That's like, explain Batman. I'm just rich. That's perfect to me. Do you wish there was any characters, or do you think there was any characters that are underutilized or overutilized? In the movie? Yeah. The way that the, we're talking about? Yeah. The movie we're talking about? Yeah. Um, I would have liked to have seen more Aquaman. Mm-hmm. I'm sure you did. I would have yeah. liked to have seen him explore a little more underwater. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, because it, it, it felt weird having him fly around in the middle of Russia with no water. Yeah. But I do like his... Um, um, his hair flip. <laughs> <laughs> He's right. His now. refusal to jump ahead, like you know, what I mean, he was stubborn. You know what I mean? At, mm-hmm. at first, you know, what I mean, he kind of just like you know, I, I don't know. He figured out for himself. Yeah. And that's what's cool about that character building in that sense. Okay? Yeah. Just and because, that I would give huge props to Zack Snyder because Aquaman could have went so bad, right? Green and lights. I, yeah. 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 You yeah. know, I mean, but Orange I really green. like how yeah. he just reimagined him, and it was, it was really yeah. good. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, Aquaman like, is kind of a right with the DC universe, the, universe <laughs> yeah, right you know, the shitty character of the whole. Side I love. I <laughs> wish they didn't use the. Do uh, you talk to fish twice? <laughs> that part of it. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know what I did like is the air bubble that uh, they formed and were mm-hmm. walking in. I was like, that's kind of cool. I mean, that's a good way to get some dialogue underwater. Right? Yeah, because until they did that, I was wondering uh, how they were going. To, uh, I, and I wonder if that's where the telepathy comes in. And I'm guessing oh. they got the Aquaman movie coming. You know, the talking to fish thing or whatever. Um, but it would be a movie where nobody's talking. They're yeah. just like. <laughs> doing that, so I'm, I'm really curious how they're going to do that movie. That's going to be. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. What the fuck is he saying? <laughs> I'm drowning. <laughs> Somebody get CPR going. All right, when we come back. Me. We're going to wrap it up. Last Lifeguard. Segment, and we'll uh, finish our review of Justice League. Let's do this. Let's get this thing wrapped up. All right, so overall, 
You recommend it for everybody? I do for DC fans for sure. Actually, yeah, even and it does have a family feel and you know all that happy stuff. But I definitely recommend it. And just to really sum up my opinion is DC is going through growing pains. This is a very good growth spurt, but you could still feel the the growing pains. But mm -hmm. I'm going to probably see it again in the theater. I've already seen it twice, and I'm definitely going to Blu-ray it. So yes. Jeremy Allen, thoughts? I liked it. You liked it I a lot. It. Or yeah, just I, I enjoyed it. it. I'll probably buy it when it comes out. I like, like it that like much. It? <laughs> <laughs> I like liked it. <laughs> what did you think? Me <laughs> liked it. <laughs> <laughs> and Josh? Um, yeah, I, I would give it a solid uh, eight. Eight uh, out of ten. I would give it eight out of ten. Out of a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> because you know, it's just it's just um, they had some flaws, but I see the potential. So mm -hmm. therefore, and it and it kind of makes everything go together a little bit mm -hmm. better, and like what they're doing with it. So to me, they're tying all the stories together. Yeah. To me, that's for a not and a comic like guy. Five, right? Not a comic guy. It, that makes me curious of what's going to come because I don't know the fucking stories. You guys know right. the stories, right? Like so to me, it's like, oh wow, I'm actually going to go see movies now again in the movie theater because I hate movie theaters. But yeah, freaking. So I'm yeah, a solid eight. Yeah. Right. Well, I, well, hold on. Before we leave, uh, what do you guys uh, out of ten? Come on. Out of uh, ten, Alan, uh, I would go seven out of ten, comfortably. Just cool. because when I walked in, the first words out of your mouth were "want some pretzel bites." <laughs> yeah. That's the best part of the you movie. Know, every good date starts out with "you want some pretzel bites." <laughs> cheese. <laughs> yeah, a lot of cheese. <laughs> Jeremy, how many? Uh, what do you get? I'm good with the eight. You with the eight? I'm good with the eight. See, I always think of movies that, uh, a little different. Like, Marvel guy talking. <laughs> compared to like standard movies, you know, a lot of the movies that come out, it's fucking fantastic. I would give it a 9 out of fucking 10. But in the comic book only genre movies, I gotta give it about a 6. Um, yeah, I give it a 6 compared to other comic book movies. And no, he's not a Trump supporter. No, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, I, as... Yeah, as a DC fan, I give it a I give it an eight because it, it I see the potential in like if this was it and this was the end, yeah. <laughs> then it would be very disappointing. But I see where they're going. Yeah, and the yeah. hope for the future. It's and stuff. the it's it's the bridge between like you mm. know the whole you know Bible story. He he's he's three days in and he gets out of the cave. Guess what? He's back. <laughs> and my point is, it's like it, it's true though. It, to me, that's fascinating. Yeah. And if you like that kind of story, I guess. My point yeah. Is. And this, I mean, I think this is DC's fifth one. Was and Batman one thing, in the Bible? Jesus or Superman and Jesus oh. was Superman is why you why that whole story was written. Whole story was written. Superman was by the whole idea of Jesus. That's the only. I swear to God. I mean. Yeah, I'd say he's definitely a metaphor. It. I, mean, I believe for Jesus. Mm -hmm. I'm just telling you, man. But it could also be Moses, as far as that part exactly. of the story. I'm telling you. I think you there's really a lot think of about Moses, it, but it's, he's really, very, really very religious. It's uh, really undertone, undertone. But really his really origin undertone. story could be God. I totally regret asking you. To that. God, but it could also <laughs> yeah. be the Moses story in the basket. And, Wait, would that make uh, Lois so, Lane Mary Magdalene? Uh, well, she's not yeah, a whore, but yeah, kind of. <laughs> that's, what, that's what I was getting at. Like, you and Martha Kent would be Mary All I'm saying Kent. is Superman is very Christ-like. You know, I was a little, little sad Batman that is Judas. Superman's uh, uh, <coughs> Good Earth point. Dad's picture fell in the Good water point. and he retrieved it. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. what the hell kind of heroes are these? Yeah, you, you got to give it. Got to give uh, old Kevin. Oh, wait, one Kevin one Mark, question. Um, Worst trailer that they played before. Justice League. Oh, Rampage. Rampage. There were so many. No. <laughs> there was so Hugh many. Jackman. Hugh, Hugh, Hugh Jackman. Show. Hugh Jackman. I thought Hugh that Jackman. looked at least interesting as far as, like, I, I want to know what his story and the freaks, you know, like. What? I, I did. I did I, it inter it. This makes I'm me curious. feel a lot more comfortable with you giving the movie a six out of ten. Yeah, exactly, right? Am I? <laughs> I'm just curious. The point is proven. If that looks interesting, then I'm okay. Circus. Hugh Jackman had just ruined his career. And he should go to Broadway because but that's I, what he's no, doing. Dude, he Is started that out uh, singer dancing. I know, but yeah. still, but he, he didn't yeah, let him. should go back to Broadway. It's a musical. Yeah. It's a musical dude. Yeah, I didn't know that when I saw the trailer. I thought it you was didn't just... know that. You didn't get that vibe. No, I just thought that was <laughs> the fucking singing. Song. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he's dancing and doing. I weird stuff. didn't see him singing <laughs> and dancing. <laughs> If you ever see the actor sing, it's going to be a musical. Exactly. 
Hmm. That's a hint. All right, well, kids. Is Chicago them. on ice? <laughs> All right, well, fuck that movie. Um, I, you know, one guy I'm actually sick of seeing his movies is uh, Liam Neeson. He's the same Dude, guy. I, every, every oh, movie. We're talking about that. We're talking about that. Yeah. 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 Trapped yeah. On a train. Trapped on a plane. Got yeah. trapped on a train. Next thing is going to be his automobile. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trains, planes, and automobiles. I mean, it's a remake, right? <laughs> well, I, I just, he's the same guy in every movie now. Mm. Yeah, right. He's like 80 years old trying to do action. It, it just, yeah, we've Dude, seen he tried so hard to be Sherlock, sure and he lost that part. And I'm telling you, that's where it got to yeah, that point. He really should have got. He should have got Sherlock Holmes. I'm telling you, yeah. Robert and I, I love Liam Neeson. I think, should not he, but be it, it is, shorter than it is. Holmes. Sorry, right, just uh, yeah, yeah, that's a no, whole. I, I concur with everything. <laughs> that's a whole other episode. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about you know, Sherlock, Sherlock Holmes fan as well. All right, one last question. So this year we saw what Guardians two come out, Spider Man Homecoming, Wonder Woman. Justice League and Thor. Where would you rank Justice League compared with the other four movies? That number one. Number one. You like it yeah. better than Wonder Woman? I'll say two. I did because of two. all of them. I, I as two. far as a movie goes and the writing and all that was great, but still to see Cyborg and the Flash and yeah. I, I love I, I love Snyder's I effects. I, I thought the way they did the Flash was great and Superman. There's some whatever they did this time with Superman was just amazing. Those Steroids. fight scenes where he was. An ass kicker, but wasn't uh, oh, dark and all that with it. I... What about you, Jeremy? I don't know. Have you seen any of those? Other I movies? haven't seen Ragnarok yet. I haven't seen Ragnarok. So compared down to at Ragnarok, Spider Man and Guardians, where would you place it? I would place the Guardians first, followed by no. I'd go Wonder Woman first, Guardians and two, and Justice League kind of tied. <laughs> Josh, Wonder Woman what first. Wonder Woman is well. <laughs> I'm going with him with his thing because Wonder Woman was. I don't know. It was really. <sighs> there. Anyway, it was really good. It was really good. Uh, Wonder Woman was awesome. To yeah. me, it was like a fresher breath, breath air. Uh, oh, whoa! I'm drunk. A fresher breath air. <laughs> yeah, fresher breath air. It was what it was. It was fresh it, 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 it was uh, reassuring that, you know what I mean? Like, it was just really cool, especially with a bunch of women running around the island. I mean, come on, that kind of gives it the thing that appeals most men, I would think, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, dude, number one is Wonder Woman, and number two would be Justice League. And Have I would, you seen the other ones, like Spider-Man and Guardians and Thor? I, I've seen Guardians because my daughters fucking love that fucking movie. Mm-hmm. And they listen to old school music. And I'm like, wow. I'm like, that's awesome because because that just because of that soundtrack, you know what I mean? Just because of that soundtrack. Yeah. But um, yeah, no, uh, that's, that's what I top three is. Yeah. So I actually I like Wonder Woman better. Um, it, was a, it was a fantastic film. I would say it's kind of tied with Thor, just because Thor was so jokey, it kind of ruined a little bit for me. But if if Thor was like more serious uh, in certain parts, it probably would have got a. Yeah, I'm not better. a big fan of Thor, I guess. I, that's that's my... Be- yeah. It's just... Yeah, I'm not the Thor movies appealed to it. I mean, I'm not, not really suck. The Thor movies have been up to par. And you know yeah. what? Compared a little side step, but with the Thor, everybody complains about the second one. I loved it, but it was dark. The second one. Right? Yeah, I thought it was great, but, you know. All right, I'm done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but actually, just want to throw that out there. Wonder Woman was probably actually my favorite movie of the year as well. And, I mean, I'm a Marvel guy. Um, just because it was done so well, and, and it was a surprise she, in a way. Yeah, it was. Like, it was I mean, a she just surprise. sold the character. Fucking. I was like, what the fuck? Nothing but badass. <laughs> what? What? How much time do you got? Spider-Man: <laughs> Homecoming is probably my second, just because I'm a big Spider-Man guy. And then Guardians, and then probably Justice League. I would say. Yeah. I, tonight I saw some things that could be fixed, but overall that was a really decent film for Hollywood and what they're trying to do and, and a, the potential like with me and Borden were kind of sharing the idea of is the potential that can grow from that is just freaking fucking it's endless it's fucking endless what they're doing right now they're getting but you know, well you know I, 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 well, I'm gonna overspeak it <laughs> it's endless <laughs> bring up one point before we go we had what five movies this year all superhero and they were all fucking good mm-hmm. better than all most them. shit out there right yeah now. I mean I'm just amazed that we had five fucking great superhero <coughs> yeah. movies in one year. We're getting better. Be- they're getting better. They're getting better. They're getting so, better. So, with that said, go see Justice League. Hope you enjoyed our ADD review. <laughs> I'm Josh. I'm Eric Estrada. <laughs> Bumblebee. <laughs> <Do not. laughs> I'm Doctor. Doctor Awesome. 
Well, and we're doing super egos? <laughs> real quick. Okay, quick story. Jeremy Allen was a little late. He still got there before the movie, but a little late. We couldn't wait. Went into the theater, and we left a ticket at the <laughs> door with him by, uh, under the name Eric Estrada. <laughs> the ticket guy, when I asked, I was like, well, I have a ticket waiting for me. He's like, Eric Estrada? It's like, yeah, <laughs> I wonder if he even knew who that was. Right? He probably did. He, he's probably at like 1819, you don't look dude. Hispanic. <laughs> <laughs> you play soccer? <laughs> you don't look a cop. All right, that's it. That's this edition of Podcast. Thanks for joining us, motherfuckers. Knock knock. Who's there? The police. The police who? Man, your son is dead. <laughs> Classic. <laughs>